BSUBeavers.com here with head volleyball coach Wayne Chadwick after a 3-2 loss to University of Mary tonight. Coach, obviously it was a tough one tonight, but your girls fought hard to make it a five-set match. Just what were your overall thoughts on the match? <clears throat> well, um, you know, I, I, I'm not sure we played really pretty well in game one. Just, you know, even though the score was 25-21, I thought we had pretty good control of that game. Uh, for most of the way, they got some. They went a little run there at the end, but uh, for the most part, I thought we had uh, pretty good control of that game, and it was, you know, uh, a more comfortable win than 25-21 might indicate. Uh, same thing with game three, 25-20. I thought that was something that, that we had pretty good control of. Uh, you know, unfortunately, the second and fourth game in particular, you know, they, they served us off the floor. Uh, the disappointing part is that you know they weren't. Uh, you know, Mary wasn't back there serving. You know, bullets serving BBs. We just had a real tough time to serve Steve, and, and hats off to, to Mary that the, uh, they play great defense too. But you know, we, games two and four, we really, I, I think, shot ourselves in the foot a little bit. And, and uh, you know, a game, uh, you know, a game four, we jumped out to a nicely five one, made them call a very early timeout, and unfortunately, uh, uh, you know, really had trouble after that. And uh, game. Game five, I thought we started pretty well. I thought we were going to be in a pretty good position. And uh, once they started to make a run, we, we had a tough time responding. Uh, one of the best things about the past two matches in particular uh, was your improved defensive play. Uh, Kayla DeYoung, your libero, almost had 30 digs once again. And also you outblocked Mary. You had 13 total team blocks on the night. Just talk about your improvement on the defensive side of things. Yeah, you know, Mary's a very good blocking team, uh, you know, on paper, you know, stats, and they're a better blocking team than we are, so the fact that we outblocked them, you know, it's pretty good, uh, 13 blocks in five games, so, you know, over two a game, that's a pretty healthy number, uh, especially considering where we've been and where we're trying to get to. Uh, defensively, 86 digs, so that's 136, that's, what, 17 a game. Uh, that's that's a pretty healthy number as well. Uh, so we did we did some good things. And again, where we kind of shot ourselves in the foot was uh, uh, from a service team standpoint, especially in games two and four. Tomorrow you face the other Beavers uh, from the NSIC, uh, Minot State. They're a much improved team this year. They've already surpassed their win total from last season with seven. What are you looking for from the Minot State Ball Club? Well, you know, I think us and. and Mary and Minot, I think we're all in the, in the very similar boat. You know, we've, we've been towards the bottom of the league uh, the last couple of years, and, and, and we're trying to move forward. I, I, expect, I expect another battle uh, like tonight, quite frankly. Um, you know, Minot's team that we split with uh, last year, uh, we beat them the year before that. I, I think we only played them once. Uh, we beat them at, in a tournament that wasn't part of conference play. Uh, and and I, I expect another uh, uh, a big battle with those guys tomorrow. Uh, should be another defensive battle, uh, and uh, you know Travis is, is, uh, is in his third year as head coach over there, and he's a very good coach. He's getting to play hard, and it'll be another battle for like say the three of us, very similar teams, trying to trying to make our mark and make our move in the league. So it, it should be another good one.